Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. You see by the title of the video, y'all know Red Lobster got these supposed to be world famous cheddar cheese biscuits, a cheddar biscuit, or however you say it. And I see people making them out the box and eating them at the Red Lobster. Would y'all go to Red Lobster? Uh, cause it's fake. I ain't gonna go into Red Lobster, y'all. <laughs> That's just like going to uh, Olive Garden, then you get an Italian food. So nothing against Red Lobster. You like Red Lobster, hey, it's all good. <laughs> but I know other places get better lobster at, but you're gonna pay for it though. If you want a cheap version of lobster, go to Red Lobster and get your little lobster feel. But with that being said, they have cheddar biscuits. Everybody say they're so good. I've tasted them, they okay. But I say, I think I can do a better version of those uh, cheddar cheese biscuits at Red Lobster. So that's what I'm gonna do today, y'all. I'm gonna do some buttermilk cheddar cheddar biscuits here. And very simple, very easy. I got some AP flour in here. That's how you do it. In here, I make this in a lot of different ways. This right here, y'all, I got some, uh, what this is, is butter flavored shortening. And my mama used to use shortening with biscuits. She used to really make it with butter. But she should use Crisco shortening. You can use whatever you want, y'all. Now, when you make biscuits, there's two different ways you can do it. Now, I should, if you're really, really not an expert in making biscuits, y'all, make sure your butter is ice cold. So when you put it into the biscuits, you have a flakier biscuit. I may making biscuits long enough, I can actually pour melted butter in my biscuits and it'll come out nice and light and fluffy because I know what I'm doing. But if you're new to the game and don't know what you're doing, make sure your butter's ice cold when you add to a biscuit and you kind of cut it up. Cause I'm cutting it up with my hand. You can use that fancy biscuit cutter, which I do have. Add a little salt to this, sugar, baking powder. Of course you're supposed to add all that before y'all, but hey. Like I say, if you make biscuits enough, you can do any method you can, and it's gonna come out all together. Like I said, my mama used to make biscuits, didn't measure a thing, and come out the same every time. Okay, what do we got in here, y'all? Flour, baking powder, salt, a little sugar I put in mine. You can use butter shortening. I got butter and butter shortening, both of it. Okay, now we're gonna add the cheddar cheese to this. Mix that up in there. Cheddar cheese biscuits or what? You need cheddar cheese. Okay, there we go. Now, I, add, I always use whole buttermilk, y'all. I don't use no light buttermilk. To me, it has to be whole buttermilk when I make buttermilk biscuits. So we're gonna move this around in here. You do not want to over mix. Pour the rest of that in there. Y'all see, I ain't measuring nothing either. I ain't measuring a thing, y'all. But I'm gonna have the recipe in the description of the video. Put the rest of that buttermilk in there. And like I say, y'all, make sure you use real whole buttermilk. It makes a difference when you're making buttermilk biscuit. Okay, kind of get that kind of mixed together, y'all. And you already know, do not over mix your, your biscuit, though. Okay, there we go. Now, let me clean up a little here. Y'all know I hate, hate flour, y'all. Hate it, hate it. But what else can we do? We got to do what we got to do. Okay, we're going to put some flour here on the board. Move this over out of the way for a second. Put some flour here. Put on the board here. Kind of move it around. Get our biscuit. Pour right here on the on our board. Y'all probably say, why is Chef Jeffrey wearing gloves? I hate getting all that dough on my fingers, y'all. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Don't judge me. I'm gonna put the other glove on just a second. Let me get my other glove on here. Let me get these bad boys rolled out. Okay. All right. Okay, like I said, y'all, you don't want to over mix your biscuit though. Just a little, just to get incorporated. I 
easy is this, huh? How easy is this? Some people are intimidated by biscuits. Don't be intimidated by biscuits, y'all. Biscuits are not hard to make. They are not hard to make. And you kind of press them out. Some people use a rolling pin. I don't. It ain't necessary. And that's it. I you do mine about an inch thick or so. Let me get these gloves off. And like I told y'all, I grew up, my mom used to make biscuits every morning. Every morning, my mom used to make biscuits for us. I probably have to make two pairs of these bad boys on there. Okay, I'm putting a little flour on the top here. A little on the board there. I'm gonna move it around there so it don't stick. Get the pan here to the side. And when you go, just go right down, just like that, y'all. Go straight down there. You don't wanna, you don't wanna twist. You don't twist your biscuit. You're gonna have a tough biscuit. And I like to put mine close together, just like this. Like I say, y'all, just straight down there. Put them close together here. Again. Cheddar biscuits, y'all. You see if they better than the world famous world famous uh red lobster. Or some people call it dead lobster. <laughs> y'all see what I'm doing here? Yeah, y'all can see what I'm doing. Let me move y'all up a little here. I think we're gonna make two pans of these bad boys. We're gonna make two pans of these bad boys. Hold on, y'all. Let me move this over here out of the way. Let me grab me another pan here. So I can always freeze these for later. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. y'all right okay let me roll these back up together and see if we can get another half a pan out of these, these bad boys I get two out of here, y'all. That'll do it. All right. Put these two together right here. This will be the little off long biscuit. That'll be the little one that nobody liked. Okay. Now. Let me clean up here a little, y'all, and I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do to eat this before I put it in the oven. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back. Now, I'm going to put these in the oven, y'all, 350 degrees, about, say about 20 minutes. But I'm going to show you something my mama used to do. I do it till this day. Don't ask me why she did it. And that old grease can on top of your stove, y'all, that old chicken grease, she used to do this right here. Take that old grease can, and she put that grease right on top of that, y'all. And she do it every biscuit. So did. And I'm going to do the same thing she used to do. I know she's smiling from above, y'all. Watching me do biscuit like her. The only thing I do that she used to do, I never could learn. She used to cut them out with her hands. Meaning she used no biscuit cutter. She used her hand to squeeze them out. And they would all be the same size. I never could learn that trick. But other than that, I got everything down. 
how to knock biscuits out in no time without measuring them. So anyway, we're gonna put these in the oven, 350 degrees, about 15, 20 minutes, and we're gonna see if, how these old school cheddar biscuits, cheddar cheese biscuits here. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes in the oven. And what I like to do, y'all, take a little butter, melted butter there. We'll brush on these bad boys. I'm gonna let them cool a little. We'll put them, take them out and put them on a, put these over here. And we're gonna see if these better than the cheddar biscuits you get at, uh, at the Dead Lobster. Red Lobster, Dead Lobster, however you wanna say it. See which one is better. So anyway, like I was telling y'all earlier, oh, did I tell y'all, my mom was growing up making biscuits, especially in her era, especially, let me give you a history, especially young ladies, their mom taught them how to make biscuits. That was something you had to know how to do. Cause as she was growing up, the woman pretty much stayed home, took care of the house, kids and cooked and worked around the house while the man go out and do the farming or whatever job he had but you didn't buy a lot from the store. And you had to know, one thing you had to know is how to make bread. And biscuits was one of the things. That's just something just stopped throughout the years. And of course, as women started leaving the home, working this out of the home, it, 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 it contributed to that too. But making a good biscuit is something very simple. It's not hard to do. And y'all see me, I can make them in my sleep. I don't need no measurements. I don't need to measure nothing. You just put some flour. All you need some flour, some good buttermilk, some a baking powder, a baking soda. I put a little sugar in mine and some uh, butter shortening. Lord, like I said, I can make it with melted butter. I can pour some melted butter in my bits. I can pour some melted shortening in there and make them. They'll come fluffy because I know what I'm doing when I do it. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to get these out on the pan, put on the platter. We're going to see if they're better than a dead lobster. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. Little plate of biscuits. You can see they still hot, y'all. I know it shouldn't pile them on there like when they hot. So we're going to take one right here, nice and fluffy. Got that cheese melting out. Okay. Open this bad boy up for you. Mm -hmm. Look at that. See that nice fluffy biscuit? Look at that. Look at that. Nice fluffy biscuit. Perfectly cooked. See that? Hold on, I'm gonna put some butter in this bad boy. Hold on, let me get some butter. <coughs> Hold on, y'all. I gotta find some, <coughs> some butter here. Y'all bear with me here. As you should say, Jeff, Jeff, you should have had the butter out already. Don't judge me. A big hunk of butter in between there. And don't judge how much butter I put on the biscuit, y'all. That's that, that ain't too much. That bottom one there. Look at that, y'all. Take a bite of that. Nice light biscuit. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. I'm telling y'all. When people ask me, what's the key? for a nice, light, fluffy biscuit. First thing I'll tell them, especially if it's a buttermilk biscuit, first thing I'll tell them, you got to use whole buttermilk. You have to, because that fat content in that whole buttermilk is your best friend. That's what whole buttermilk is. It had all the fat in it. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Hold on, y'all. Mm. I'm gonna get the other piece. Mm. I think I said I had more cheese to that. What y'all think? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look how light that is, y'all. Nice and airy. Look at that. That's how my mom used to make them every day growing up, every morning. And they were the same every time. And she never made it. Let me get this in here. I'm in my element. I let that kind of melt a little, y'all. Give you a bit of, a better. You can just tell how light that is. See that? 
Feel that? Mm. And y'all see how easy it was to put together. You can do this. Recipe gonna be in the description of the video. You follow my recipe. Like I say, I'm gonna have whole buttermilk. You must have whole buttermilk if you want them to come out like that. You can use regular buttermilk if you want to. You can use sweet milk, what we used to call sweet milk, which is whole milk. You can use that. But to, uh, to achieve what I have here, look at that. One more bite. I love biscuits, y'all. When they made right, I'm like my dad. When my dad used to sit down and eat five, six, seven biscuits. But my mom used to make like 24 of them. So we all loved them. And uh, my dad used to six, seven, eight at a time. Because they were nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I want to know which which one y'all eat. These are red lobsters, buttermilk biscuits. Eat these or red lobster. You got a choice. But anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. <clears throat> if you like the video, oh, y'all, let me get something to drink before I close this video out. Alright, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and old school say TikTok, and old school soul food .com. Remember the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness, old school soul food. Till next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.